Can we copy it? Can we uh, ship it over to other planets? Like how, what, what does that mean for exactly where the mind is stored? Yeah, a couple of things. So we, so we are now beyond anything that I can say with any certainty. This is total, total conjecture. Okay, so because we, we don't know yet. The whole point of this is we actually don't really understand very well the relationship between the interface and the thing. And the thing you're currently working on is to map Correct. This space. Correct. And we're and, and we are beginning to map it, but you know, this is this is a massive effort. So um so so I'll, a couple of uh, a couple of conjectures here. One is that I, I strongly suspect that um the majority of what we think of as the mind is is the pattern in that space. Okay. And one of the interesting predictions from that model, which is not a prediction of modern neuroscience, is that there should be cases where there is very minimal brain and yet normal IQ function. This has been seen clinically. We, we just, the Karina Kaufman and I reviewed this in a paper recently, a bunch of cases of humans where there's very little brain tissue and they have normal or in, sometimes above normal intelligence. Now, things are not simple because that obviously doesn't happen all the time, right? Most of the time that doesn't happen. So, so what's going on? We don't understand, but it is a very curious thing that is not a prediction of, 